Our national strategy is comprehensive. It's based on science, not politics. It's based on truth, not denial. And it's detailed. Our goal of administering 100 million shots in our first 100 days in office. We're on day one. I'm committed to getting it done. President Biden speaking about his priorities in these 100 days that kick off the administration, including dealing with the pandemic and the economy. I'm joined now by Oscar-winning documentary filmmaker and well-known political activist Michael Moore. He's the host of the podcast Rumble with Michael Moore and was an ardent supporter of Joe Biden once he won the nomination. Uh, good to see you, sir. Good to see you, and thank you so much for having me on to uh, take a look back at the at the Biden years and how it's how it's how it went so far. Um, it's. <laughs> no. Are you making? Are you doing psychological uh, humor, Michael? <laughs> no, no. But wouldn't that be great? It's like it's. I was. I was. Uh, I was communicating with uh, uh, Bill Maher last night, and I, and I wrote to him. I said, "Man, it's been like twelve hours and no comedy. Uh, it's just like we're gonna have to get used to this. I'd rather have it." without the comedy, frankly. So there, don't get me wrong. That's but, fair. Uh, there may be no Yeah, there I may be that many I, things that, that have to be traded. Let me Michael, let me ask it this yeah. way though. When yeah, you yeah. look at what the what the president just said there, uh, and the twin crucibles mm. of the pandemic and the recession and some of the issues you've worked on, what's on your mind on on those policies and and the challenge? Well I'm gonna I'm gonna download and print out the hundred and ninety eight page uh, book that he was holding up there. Uh, the one with the blue cover. I, I'm going to have to figure out. I, I'm I'm low on blue ink, frankly, in my printer. So I, that's going to really take up most of the blue. But I want to read. I'm seriously. I want to read this. This is the first thing he has to do. If he succeeds at this, if he succeeds in getting everybody vaccinated, as Dr. Fauci hoped for, as he said today, uh, by the end of the summer, and if we have uh, um, uh, mandated masks and social distancing. Now, I know he says it's only on federal properties, but the number one employer in the United States of America is the federal government. And when you count all federal employees, plus postal employees, plus the military, uh, you've got something like uh, 25 million people. That's a lot. If just that is done, if just 25 million have to wear masks, and if you enter the federal buildings, you're on federal property, you have to wear a mask. That's a great thing. We'll, we will have a fighting chance to be done with this pandemic this year if he is able to, and I mean, he really has to sort of uh, FDR, General Patton, this thing uh, to pull this off because uh, this is what New Zealand did. This is what the countries that got rid of the problem for the most part this is how they had to handle it. And we're all going to have to join in together, all of us. That's the unity he's talking about. All of us. We hmm. want to stop and let me, the dying. Let me let me tell you, that's a very interesting points you make, particularly what, what that muscular leadership can do. Let me take it to another issue you, you care about uh, in the context of how less potential chaos in the federal government allows, in many tangible ways more focus on what people are going through. And boy, have people been through the ringer. Uh, you That's have right. been advocating for different types of debt relief uh, for people who followed the rules, went to school, and now are going through a pandemic where the arguments for something fair are even stronger. Let's take a brief look at that for your reaction as Biden talks up the issue. Take a look. The pandemic has also increased the hardship on millions of Americans who owe federal student loans. In response, the president asked the Department of Education to extend the pause on student loan payments and interest. You see on one side of the screen, yes. the pause is a start. On the other, there are many, uh, both nonpartisan experts as well as liberals, if you want to talk politics, um, saying to do even more for these individuals. Your thoughts on all of that? So you're going to drag me into talking about politics. Um, okay, fine. Um, it happens. I have to. I have to say, I have felt so good these last 24 hours. It's. It's. Am I in, on some pink cloud, some kind of high? That. I mean, look. Obviously, remember, I supported Bernie, and I traveled a year ago this week. I was on the road with Bernie. Wait. Um, and then. Wait a minute. And Why then don't we you, all got behind Michael real quick? Joe, yes. 
Michael. Yeah. Do people who watch MSNBC know this about you? I mean, or are you making news? Is this a known thing? Well, you brought up politics, and I'm thinking, well, okay, maybe I should just, <laughs> you know, I first of all, the woman who stole Nancy Pelosi's laptop or allegedly stole it, uh, what does she think is on there? Uh, you know, I, trust me, the only thing that's on Pelosi's laptop is uh, she's the one that probably started the memes on Bernie. Uh, with the with the mittens and everything. That's that's about that's all I'm going to give her on. Well, it's that, a great meme. Let me focus you. I'm going to give you the mic yeah. back, but let me focus you. You said it's politics and everything's got to get done through a political world. But really, I'm asking you about people. Um, Biden says he cares about these people and helping student debt. I, I have no yeah, reason I to believe he does. Him. Uh, and then Schumer yeah. and Schumer and Warren are, are pushing further. But it's about what should be done for people who, especially through no fault of their own, this pandemic have crippling debt. Nobody should be evicted. Nobody should ha uh, be foreclosed on during this time. Uh, they should receive help from the federal government. They, we need to, we, we have, we learned, one thing we learned at the beginning of the pandemic is that we have the money to do whatever we want to do and we should be doing it to help people. And, and I, I mean, for me, I would forgive these student loans and get out of the student loan business. He's already said that he supports public colleges being the tuition being free. So let's push toward that. Let's have a health care system. Everybody should be covered. We're in a pandemic. We'll announce universal health care. We'll sort out how we're going to continue it when we get through this pandemic. But for now, nobody should worry about going to the doctor or being in, in huge trouble. I saw this one hospital chain that is suing people who have been in the hospital for COVID. No, wrong message. Uh, and that's not who we are. So, yes, we should be doing all these things right now, fighting for these things. And I, I honestly believe this about Biden. Um, you know, my parents were, were like him. They went to mass every morning. And, you know, it's something I, of course, I, I never did. But, you know, people like that, I know him. I don't know him personally, but I know that if he wants to start his day in a, in a place of moral fortitude, where he will live that day doing what he believes is the right and just thing. This is a good thing for the rest of us. And it's, it's why I believe that, okay, so let's say he doesn't support Medicare for all or whatever, which they shouldn't call it that anymore anyways, it should be called Canadian health care, or what would Jesus do health care or something like that. But you know, any bill that comes across his desk, that's going to help people that's going to improve their wages, get them their jobs back, any of this stuff, he's going to sign it. So so Schumer and Nancy need to do their job to get these things through, and we have to eliminate the filibuster. The filibuster does not exist in any country that calls itself a democracy. That has to stop. It, it's, it's a, there's a vote, and the winner is 50% plus one. That's a democracy. They have to get rid of that, and they cannot let the Republicans stop any of this. Everything that Frank Rich said, I agree. That the, and, and these are seditionists. They have a sedition caucus. They have to be, they have to be brought up, and, and they have to answer for what they did. But they've got to start right now by, by taking the head off the snake, and that was Donald J. Trump. He has to answer for his actions, or, or we will see more uh, uh, insurrections in the years to come, because they'll say, well, look at what happened. Nothing, nothing happened. Yeah. Something has to happen to yeah. all the Republicans who participated in this. And 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 I just, I think that if, if the Democrats will be strong, and if that, you know, this, if their, their idea of reaching across the aisle, the only reaching, we're the victims of Trump, this whole, our whole society. The only reaching that should be done is by the Republicans reaching across. If they want unity, here's a way to have unity. Well, that's, a point, that's a point to pause on. the Democrats. That's and, a, and, uh, that's a point Donald to pause Trump. on, Michael, because I got to, and, and boy, did I, I listened. Uh, but I have to cut in because they're telling me we've got other time yeah. before we will go to Joy Reid. Yeah, no, no, I'm so, I'm so grateful you had me on here on this, on this uh, first day and a half. It's a big day. Uh, it's a big day, and it's a great moment uh, for all of us, and let's build on it. Build back better. Yeah, and I... And it's, it, it's interesting hearing you both speaking to what you see as the moral fiber of President Biden, who you supported, as well as, as you put it, 
unity with strength, which is being open to unity, but if you know you're right, telling people to come join you if you have the votes to back it up. Michael Moore, we'll be seeing you again. Thank Thanks you. for being here today. Thanks so much, Ari. We heard Michael mention, thank you, we heard Michael mention how Bernie Sanders and the mittens went viral. This is one you got to see to believe. We have that and another important.